So if you want extra clips to use in your videos, but don't want to film them, start again. So if you want extra clips to use in your videos, but don't want to film them, you'd usually sign up to a service like Storyblocks, link below, and you'd search through thousands of other videos that other people have made, find the one that's closest to what you want to use, and then download it and put it in your video. These are called stock footage services. For example, mushrooms on a forest floor, a race car in a city, or a nuclear explosion. Now, I've been waiting for this for ages, and it's called Runway ML Gen 2 Text to Video. And the idea is you just type a sentence of what you want to see, and it creates you a video of what you've asked for. For example, mushrooms on the forest floor, a race car in the city, or a nuclear explosion. Those last three were completely generated by AI. That's never before seen footage, completely imagined by artificial intelligence. Now, I know they don't look as good as real video, and at the moment they can only be four seconds long, but the technology is ever improving, and even a year ago you couldn't do anything like this. And I can see this one day replacing those stock footage websites, so why search through thousands of videos that might be what you want when you can type a sentence and get exactly what you want? Now, plenty of people are making videos about what this can do, I thought we'd make a video about what it can't do, what it's not so good at, things a bit more ambitious, things it's not been designed to do. So I want you to know I'm not dunking on all the hard work that the people at Runway have put in. I just want to have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Right, I asked for a Terminator robot hatching out of an egg. So I guess there's elements of what I've asked for. It's kind of roboty in that it's got a glowing red eye like a Terminator. And it's kind of like a big egg. Mm, but it's not really a Terminator hatching out of an egg. Uh, I guess it's not been trained on too many videos of Terminators hatching out of eggs. So I'm gonna go easy on it for that one. Let's try another one. Okay, so for this one, I went with a deer wearing a top hat riding a unicycle. What? <laughs> what? Okay, so a couple of things. Yes, it's a deer. It, it knows what a deer is, it's got that. Yes, it's wearing a top hat. Yes, it's also wearing a bonus tuxedo, which I wasn't expecting, that's cool. However, <laughs> when it comes to unicycling, it starts off by holding two wheels in its hands, which magically disappear behind its head. And in place of those wheels are fencing swords? No, they're not, it's backwards. Mirrors on a stick? Okay, regardless of what is coming out of his hands, let's, let's just go a little bit further south. So this deer has obviously got like two legs, which are kind of wearing suit trousers, which begs the question, What's this? <laughs> What's this in the middle? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's a deer's leg. But it does look a little bit penisy, if I'm gonna be honest. Also, he's kind of, he appears to be in the woods and amongst, amongst a lot of mist. But you know, I asked for something weird and um, I've got something weird. Next, I, I asked it for something a bit more realistic, so. I asked it for the moon wearing a fez crashing into the earth. A fez being one of those red hats. Because it could happen. It could happen. A couple of things. Space now apparently has giant red curtains in it, which is fine. It makes it more theatrical. Um, the earth, the earth appears to be two earths stuck together in a kind of cell division-y kind of way. So the Fez, the Fez looks like Anubis's mothership from Stargate. And it's kind of just gliding off the moon there. The moon does have a trail of black smoke behind it, but there's not much crashing or smashing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. New prompt, a koi carp running through a fast food restaurant. I want to see what it does here because obviously carp don't have legs for running. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what? <laughs> okay, no evidence of fast food restaurant. Um, the carp does not seem to be running. Um, we have a carp making a very, very cool face. <laughs> oh, that has cracked me up a little bit too much. Mm. So the carp is above the water, which is a nice touch. Both running through a restaurant, it it wouldn't have water in it anyways. So, <laughs> and his mates just like, "You all right, Kevin?" <laughs> People are worrying that this is going to take their jobs. Not right now. It's not. Not right this second. I know it'll get better. I know it'll get better very quickly, and it still will probably take people's jobs. But while I've been looking forward to this, I had in my mind that example video where they had a surfer on a surfboard surfing, and it looked brilliant. You know what? I'm going to try that. A surfer surfing on a surfboard in the sea. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Oh, we've got the sea. We've got waves. We've got a surfer. Oh, <laughs> and his arms come off. <laughs> oh dear. Let's watch that again. See surfing. Oh, pops through a wave. Arm up in victory and, and his arm comes clean off. So he knows what the sea is. He knows what surfing is. He doesn't seem to know that arms need to stay attached to torsos. So, a happy piece of toast waking up in bed in the morning and stretching out its arms. That's what I've asked for. Ugh. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, let's go back, let's go back. Okay, happy, happy piece of toast. Yes, it's kind of got a bit of a smile on it. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it's a horrific four-eyed monster toast whose mouth slowly fills up with cheese. I mean, that would be a great superpower to have. That one doesn't look very happy and it's certainly not stretching its arms getting out of bed. We do have what looks like a kind of quilt in the background so there is some kind of bed related things but that ain't happy toast that's killer toast so how are you enjoying this video so far i'm not really getting very far with this but if, if you're enjoying the video at least then please consider giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe would be amazing thank you maybe i'm being a little bit too ambitious here let's go something like a stealth bomber flying over the countryside Okay, so we've got Batman's aeroplane hovering over a, a forest with some nice clouds. We've got some nice interaction of the light there behind the, the ship. Got a bit of light bleed. Not the most interesting one to look at, but I think it's the most accurate one that we've had so far. So the other thing you can do here is you can provide it still images to guide the kind of video that you want. So the style or, or the subject kind of thing. Um, so I've taken this picture of yours truly and I've uploaded it as the base image to work from. Now, obviously, because I'm so hip and cool, I asked for a gangster waving a gun around because that's, you know, it's what I do in my spare time. Okay, a couple of things. So from the picture, we know that there's a person in it and there's a blue background. So as far as that goes, yes, yes. However, I don't really know how to feel about that. <laughs> Um, it has made me older than I currently am, let's put it that way. And it has also given me an intermittent moustache. No moustache, no moustache. Oh, oh, cat's pillar. It's just occurred to me, maybe they're, maybe they're programmed in that you're not allowed to do things like guns. I don't know, but that's just a guess. Because basically, that's some old guy with a magic moustache waving around a black Nintendo Wii controller. Oh man, I'd love a lip reading expert to try and say, pick out what he's saying. Any of you lip read? My grass is broken and snapped in two. So now I've got beef with AI for making me look even older. Come on, come on. I'm gonna use the same picture, but the prompt I'm gonna use is the coolest guy posing for photos. Okay, couple of things. Blue background, check. Human, check. Coolest guy in the world. That does look like a real person though. I mean, does that look like you? Do you know someone that looks like that? Well, congratulations, you are the coolest person in the world. Let's see if we can figure out why this person is the coolest person in the world. 
and obviously hair very very silky smooth hair i'm obviously jealous of anybody with any amount of hair facial hair facial hair is cool if i try and grow facial hair i go through a couple of phases which is first of all looking like somebody tried setting fire to a koala and it's all kind of patchy uh, and then i just start looking like an astrologer so it has to go at one point in my life i'd love to be stranded on a desert island with no one else around for like nine months just to see if i could actually grow a beard i think if i when i next step foot onto civilized land i'd get arrested for looking like a sex criminal so this is peak beauty this is the true giga chad he looks like he's called paul he's, it's got good like good expression it's like he's really talking about something he's looking around and then looks off camera the shadows are amazing look it's just like it's like there's a light right up there it's really realistic that's really realistic actually and he's got like the adam's apple moving and everything's moving the shadows being cast across him if that person is actually truly ai generated from scratch i'm very impressed i'm, I'm sat here wondering like has that just does that exist as a video somewhere that guy and it's it's cut him out and stuck him on a blue background so you know with like Dali or even ChatGPT, the more time you spend on the prompt explaining what you're after, it gives you better results. So I looked at some of the examples on the Runway website. It says like, do you need inspiration? Check down here. So what I've gone with here is cats lying in the sunshine on a wooden floor, light streaming through glass doors, high definition, shallow depth of field, warm colors, beautiful composition, focus on cats, golden hour, realistic cats specific i'm telling exactly what i want i'm telling it the colors i want i'm telling it the kind of composition that i want so hopefully this will give us a better example well sh <coughs> what <laughs> what what's this <laughs> i don't like it wooden floor yes sun Streaming through possibly glass doors, can't really tell. Realistic cats. <laughs> uh, so, have you seen the film The Fly? Jeff Goldblum, teleportation pods. I think two cats got in a teleportation pod together and it resulted in this monstrosity. I mean, I'm sure if it was real, we'd still love it even though it's a horrific freak of nature. Is that an ear? It's got one ear spouting out the top. Uh, its face is kind of coming out of its chest. It's kind of just chilling, but... Oh, and of course the sun is actually coming out of the cat. Good reflections though, good reflections in the wood. So, surely it has to know what a cat looks like. The amount of training data, and the internet's full of cats. Sweet load! Sweet load! What do you make of this? Does that look like any cat you've ever seen? You gone back to sleep? Uh, so that's my first play with Runway ML's Gen 2 text to video. Draw your own conclusions from that. I might send them this picture so they know what a cat looks like. Let's try one more. Opening a chest to reveal a treasure. <laughs> oh, you! So don't forget, we've been pushing this technology to its limits here. It really is amazing and it's only going to get better. The fact that it can do any of it is an incredible technology. Could I use any of that in any project that I can think of? No. <laughs> So basically, where is all of this going? I think we'll get to a point where you can sit down in front of your TV in the evening and say, you know what? I want to watch a show about time travel and robots. Give me guns, give me explosions. Take a picture of me from your library, make me the main character and make it about one and a half hours long. And I think we will get to that stage where AI will just do it and it'll be Netflix or whatever replaces Netflix and it will just create custom content for you. I know it, it, it looks like a long journey from what we've just seen. But look at how fast all this is 
increasing in complexity and quality. You couldn't do this a year ago. Where's it gonna be in five, 10 years? Custom, instant, generated, tailored content. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more technology-based news and stuff. Please leave a comment which was your favorite video if it's possible to have a favorite. Have you used this? Have you managed to get any good videos out of it? Please let me know again in the comments.